Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hi everyone, how are you? I hope you are always healthy Throughout this video, I will tell a story about the probability of an event and will also explain how to solve the story First of all, let me introduce myself I'm Anissa, a 5 semester student majoring in Department Mathematics Education with identity number 11190170000021 from class 5A. Sharif Hidayatullah State Islamic University, Jakarta. So, are you curious about the story and how to solve it? Let's watch this video. So, here's the story. Joanna accompanies her brother, Haikal, who is still 3 years old. They will play with a bunch of balls in the box. The box contains 4 red balls and 6 blue balls. If Joanna wants to take 3 balls in the box at random to give to Haikal, then find the probability that Joanna will pick up 2 red balls and 1 blue ball. First, we must know what is meant by the definition of the probability of an event itself. Probability is the ratio between the number of possible outcomes of the event in question with the number of all possible outcomes. The theoretical probability of a particular event is a measure or the chance of the event occurring in any trial of the experiment. Next, the first step, we must know in advance to find the probability of an event, then we can look for it with the formula. The formula for an event is Pe equals Ne over Ns, which is Pe equals probability of event Ne equals the number of members of the event E and Ns, the total number of possible outcomes. While to find the total number of possible outcomes and the number of members of the event E from the previous formula, we will use the formula. The formula combination probability is N combination of R equals n factorial divided by r factorial times n minus r factorial which is c equals combination probability n equals total number of events and r equals the number of item acts previously at first calculate the total number of balls in the box namely for red balls plus 6 blue balls equals 10 balls. Then, we can find out the total number of balls in the box, which is 10 balls. Next, second step, we will find the number of possible outcomes. We will use the following formula. Where n is equals to 10, which is obtained from the total number of balls in the box, and for r is equals to 3, which is obtained from the number of balls to be taken, namely 2 red balls plus 1 blue balls. So therefore, ns equals n combination of r equals n factorial divided by r factorial times n minus r factorial equals 10 combination of 3 equals 10 factorial divided by 3 factorial times 10 minus 3 factorial equals 10 factorial divided by 3 factorial times 7 factorial equals 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 factorial divided by 3 times 2 times 1 times 7 factorial you can quickly 7 factorial divided by 7 factorial. 9 divided by 3 is equals to 3. 
and h divided by 2 divided by 2 is equal to 2 equals 10 times 3 times 4 is equals to 120 so the total number of possible outcomes is equals to 120 the third step we will find the number of member of the event e we will use the same formula because what is being asked is two types namely for red ball and blue ball it must be multiplied where n is equals to 10 which is obtained from the total number of balls in the box and where n1 is equals to 4 which is the total number of non-red balls and r1 is equals to 2 which is obtained from the two red balls to be taken while for n2 is equals to 6 which is the total number of non blue balls and for r2 is equals to 1 obtained from one blue ball to be taken so we get n e equals n1 combination of r r1 times n2 combination of r2 equals 4 combination of 2 times 6 combination of 1 equals 4 factorial divided by 2 factorial times 4 minus 2 factorial times 6 factorial divided by 1 factorial times 6 minus 1 factorial equals 4 times 3 times 2 factorial divided by 2 times 1 times 2 factorial times 6 times 5 factorial divided by 1 times 5 factorial you can quickly 2 factorial divided by 2 factorial 5 factorial divided by 5 factorial and 4 divided by 2 is equals to 2 equals 2 times 3 times 6 is equals to 36 so the total number of member of the even e is equals to 36 so we can conclude that for the probability the Joanna will pick up two red balls and one blue ball to give to Haikal is pay e equals n e over n s equals 36 over 120 is equals to 3 over 10 that's all i can say the story about the probability of an event i apologize if there are any mistakes thank you so much for your attention assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh